Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to Storytime in the Galleries. Today, we'll be reading You Matter, with permission from Simon & Schuster. This book was written and illustrated by Christian Robinson. He wrote the words and drew the pictures. This story includes tiny things like bugs and giant things like dinosaurs. Each one has an important role to play. This book reminds me of a sculpture in the galleries. Let's go take a look. When you look at this sculpture, what does it remind you of? This sculpture is called Bluffs by Tara Donovan. She is best known for using one material and one technique to make her art. While the materials may change from artwork to artwork, you'll see just one in each sculpture used over and over again in a creative way. She also uses materials you might not think of as art supplies, such as drinking straws, pins, and paper plates. What has she used to make this sculpture? Let's take a closer look. Buttons. Thousands and thousands of tiny buttons have been stacked and glued together to make a larger finished artwork. Now, on to the story. You Matter by Christian Robinson. For anyone who isn't sure if they matter, you do. The small stuff, too small to see. Looks like this girl's looking through a microscope. Some teeny tiny organisms. Those who swim with the tide, and those who don't. This creature's making his own way. The first to go, and the last, you matter. When everyone thinks you're a pest, like this mosquito, when something is just out of reach, ouch, it looks like this dinosaur was bitten on his tail. When everyone is too busy to help, you matter. If you fall down, If you have to start all over again. Even if you are really gassy, you matter. Sometimes home is far away. Here we have an astronaut looking down. She's holding a picture of someone, but that's someone important to her. Sometimes, someone you love says goodbye. Well, that looks like the kid in the picture. Sometimes you feel lost and alone, but you matter. Looks like this little dog here is lost and alone. Maybe his owners are over here. Hope they catch up with them soon. Old and young. The first to go and the last. The small stuff, too small to see. These tiny ants under the ground. You matter. the end. After we read together in the galleries, we like to draw together. Let's use buttons as a jumping off point. For this next part, find a person that sews and ask if they have any buttons in their sewing kit. They probably do. Here are mine. They are all different sizes and colors. If you don't have a button collection to look at, no problem. Look through your closet and find some clothes with buttons. You can draw those. 
Okay, so choose some buttons and start drawing them. Pay attention to all of their tiny details. What's their shape? Do they have any designs on them? How many holes do they have? Start drawing and fill your page. If you want, share your drawing in the comments section. And if you loved the pictures in the story, check out other books illustrated by Christian Robinson. Here are a couple of my favorites, Gaston and School's First Day of School. Thanks for joining Storytime. See you next time.